Welcome back to my podcast, Late Stage Capitalism, the story of women around the world. You thought I was talking to myself. You thought. You had that assumption. I am not in the wrong for disproving that. And if you think so, you're in the wrong. And guess what? I got my feedback. I didn't get the answers from the people that I wanted them from, but I got them from the people I needed them from, because that was exactly the intention. So let's see what America really thinks. Now. The first person that I am going to relay the message of, I have not seen since I was 17 years old. We've kept in contact since because she is one of the kindest souls that I have ever met. And I never want to lose her from my life. And I am glad that I never did. So, this is the first person that told me that they were going to watch my video and they were going to respond to me, and she did. I just finished watching. I love you, and I hope you know that. I know you told me bits and pieces of your past, but that doesn't define you, and if it does, it made you an amazing soul placed on this earth. You've had a crappy life, but know that you are one of the bright stars that shine even when you're feeling down. Because you always made working fun, as well as made me smile any time I was down or just needed that. Life was rough for me, and you always knew how to make my day better, even if it was just talking on the sales floor or a random text to see if we'd be working together. Autistic or not, you are so bright and wonderful and unique. Do not let anyone's opinions on your, on you, your beliefs, what you post, or etc. ruin that. Being unique is far better than fitting in, no matter what anyone says. Also, DBT works wonders for so many people, and the people who take offense to that maybe need a reality check. Because if you're going through stuff or just in a low... You know already, some just don't want to admit it. Also, to the friends who are friends, screw them. You don't need anyone else fake in your life ever again. (laughs) I am truly very sorry. I knew most of what you said in your video from what you've told me, and it definitely hurts to hear again, but you are doing amazing, girl. Being your best you, as you should. I said I love you, (laughs) and I also asked if I could share this, and she was like, yeah, I don't care. So, you know, that's the sentiment, And, and you know... As I said on my TikTok, you know, the silent women are the ones who are crying inside. You know, they don't think that there's hope anymore because they think that the narrative is the truth as well, to some extent. Let's go back to election night. I'm going to share with you the interaction that happened to cause the slur to be dropped, okay? All right. So, I I don't even have to read the screenshot because I have seen it a million times already, but it said, it's a boy. Hashtag make America great again. I posted a question, well, actually it was hashtag MAGA. So I posted a question mark because obviously I cannot read between the lines. I was genuinely curious. And I was, I was, 
applied with a GIF. And um, it, it said King's back. Yeah. Um, we use metaphors. You guys do not. Just so you know. Anyways. That said, um, I clarified that the election had not been called or certified. And I was called that derogatory term because I was arguing against delusion. So... That being said, when I've recommended the YouTube channel Cults to Consciousness, it's not because I'm saying anything toward you. It's because all of these women have been speaking and everyone's been refusing to listen. So now we're all speaking and you are going to hear us regardless of if you think that you are or not. Regardless of if you think that you are safe or not. Because we're not. And... You took that security from us. The system took that security from us. Because we've been under the same system forever. Regardless of if there is a king or not. It's all controlled by one thing. And right now, that is capital. So, capitalism. Hmm. I wonder where the issues lie. It's our society. It's the stereotypes. It is everything that you assumed of me. So, that being said, this is somebody who grew up with the person who originally called me the slur. So, let's, let's tell your truth. I've always hated them. Anytime we ever became friends or hung out ended in fire. She's just a mean girl, like, through and through, and acts like she's better than everyone, though I know all about her and her little scandals because her best friend would tell me all her secrets. And you know what? I never once spread them to anyone because I'm not a mean girl deep down. I don't know who the other girl is, but she is clearly just as bad as the first. What's so crazy about them supporting Trump is that I knew them. They were living off of government assistance, which obviously was not their fault. But to be so in love with the idea of this man who wants to cut those assistance programs is insane. I think it's really because she's married slash dating a kid or a boy or a man I guess probably now who by the way is three years younger than her and she got pregnant with his baby when she was 20 so check that wow I responded that is the quiet part and that is it right there it's so funny because you and a coworker who I've not seen since I was 17 years old sent me these messages. Everyone else is silent. That happened today, by the way. They forget that we are on the same internet and they won't believe me because of the box they put me in. So everyone got it right. Or everyone got it right back. Mm. Everybody in America everybody got it back. This is feminism. Not the delusions Republicans have convinced themselves of and the larger incel culture that we're celebrating with the Andrew Tates of the world who are being investigated for sex trafficking crimes. That is, a, that is not a secret. That is a known fact that we just don't care about enough to do something about it. And then I asked if I could share it. And, um, like, obviously they said, don't use anything that could identify me. Um, yeah, the thing about that is that everyone's mad at me. 
So if you have a problem, you can take it up with me because I'm the one speaking, right? Yeah. Oh, but guess what? You have the right to not respond and that's what you've done. So thank you for creating our safe space to speak our minds for once in our entire lives. When I said the jig is up, you all got mad. Because guess what? I was right. And denial is a river in Egypt. Your husband is gay. That's a TikTok audio. All of you DL men, we know your secrets. And um, we know you even if you don't. Because you have tried to define us our entire lives. And now we know who we are. So we're going to tell you exactly what is wrong. I may be disabled. But that being said, that did not stop me from being heard. So... Thank you, America, for giving women the power to use their First Amendment right because now we're not afraid of death. You all thought that death and destruction was the worst that could happen, and that was your mistake. Because the real enemy within, that's hope. That is not desperation, that is not giving up. And although we've heard the same messages a million times over, we stopped lose. We stopped learning the lesson. We started picking the lessons that we decided fit us. And everyone along the way fell away from those who stayed true to themselves. So, you know, I will sleep well at night knowing that I always have people in my corner because despite what other people think, there's always someone watching me. Always has been. And I didn't realize that until I thought about the fact that I have come and gone from social media my entire life. I have 800 subscribers on this YouTube video. Do you think that was done recently? No. No, it wasn't. That being said, what got me those subscribers was a relationship with a man. That same man cheated on me five months in and admitted it after, like, literally three years had passed entirely. And so I left them. <laughs> His mom was so mad. And I'm still friends with this cousin on Facebook. <laughs> Guess who isn't on my Facebook, though? Yeah. So, while you're secure in your denial, I'm secure in my truth. And I will be louder than all of your lies and all of your deceit and all of the misinformation that you have been spreading the entire time that we clued into from the beginning. I was a young brown girl in the 2016 election and I saw what happened. I came out out of spite. I would have never done that after that. I felt safe before Trump was in office. Many women feel the same. But the mistake was believing that we were safe in the first place because we never have been. And that is what feminism is. It's equality. When you only see the view of someone that comes from privilege... Equality feels like oppression. Hope this helps. <laughs>